Welcome to the Iron Horse Tracker, tracking the latest stories from Multinational Division Baghdad and the 4th Infantry Division. I'm Sergeant Kyle Flieger. Staff Sergeant Vin Stevens brings us the second half of a two-part series chronicling the life of an Iraqi 6th grader. The first class is Arabic. It's one of my favorite classes. We're learning about the subject and predicate of sentences. I take lots of notes. I write in Arabic, which is read from right to left. Once the bell rang at the end of the class, a new teacher comes in and teaches science. When she comes in, we stand and say, long live great Iraq. We say this for every visitor who comes to our class. Then the teacher tells us to sit down. In science class, we are learning about the environment and pollution. After that class, we have a 10 minute break before the next class. Every two classes, we have a 10 minute break. After a break, the next class is English. We are learning time and days of the week. After English, we have math class. That is my other favorite class. We are learning long division. After math class, we have an Islam religion class. We are learning about believing God and the end of days. The girls put on a hijab or a scarf as a sign of respect for Islam. Our final class is history. We are learning about the Middle East in the 19th century. When history class is done, I put my books and pencils in my backpack and walk home with my friends. When I get home, I put my backpack up, wash my socks, put my shoes in the sun, and start my homework. After my homework is done, I either play outside with my friends or I hang out with my dad. At the end of the school year, I will take an important test called the baccalaurea on all of the subjects I learned throughout the year. When I pass the test, I will go on to junior high. Someday, I want to be a diplomat for my country. Long live great Iraq. 186 Sons of Iraq members traveled to Joint Security Station Hor al-Bash to see if they had what it takes to be an Iraqi policeman. Some came dressed in their casual attire, while others came in full uniform, ready to make their impression felt. Some of the requirements were their ability to read and write Arabic, age, physical ability, and a clean criminal background. That concludes today's Iron Horse Tracker. To learn more about the soldiers and units supporting Multinational Division Baghdad and the 4th Infantry Division, check out our website at www.hood.army.mil/4id. From Baghdad, I'm Sergeant Kyle Flieger.